Hey, what's good family? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw trend lines. I'm going to show you how to draw trend lines and support and resistance. One quick interruption during this video. I know you're going to the comments right now to ask if you don't know what this charting software is called. This charting software is called TradingView. I should have a referral link down below in the description. You don't need to use that referral link to use the platform. It's free. But should you decide to use any of the paid features further on in the future, it gives you $15 off. I want you to know that the higher time frames are going to have more weight than the lower time frames. The higher time frames take longer to occur and all the lower time frames occur within them. So looking at them, uh, I'm going to start out on the weekly chart. We're looking at PayPal. I'm going to come here on the one week and look at the trend. All right, so looking here, seeing what trends I can see, you already know for how these candles work. For me, they're going to be black and blue, and the blue candles are going to be representative of what would normally be green, and the black is going to be representative of what would normally be red. So looking here, just looking for trends. How I'm going to draw these trend lines, it's like, like you can draw the trend lines at the top of the wick, if you want, like it's, it's fine, but it's also 100% okay if the wick kind of pokes through. The most important thing when it comes to drawing trend lines is that the body kind of respects it. And then for instance, if you get something like this, this is what's referred to as a false breakout, but we'll get more into that later. The main thing that's going to be important when you're drawing trend lines is you really just want at least two touches. So we have a touch over here. We have a touch over here. We have a third touch. And usually the more touches you get on a trend line, the closer it is to either smacking the stock down or the stock breaking up and bursting through it. So right here, we have a trend line. Uh, we kind of broke through it. And let me continue this trend line. See, see where it went. So we had a false breakout. Uh, we kind of came and tested it again and broke down and then over here we finally broke so us breaking and coming Over to this side of the trend line is a good thing whenever we're below the trend line the trend line is Serving as resistance and resistance is going to be a level that we have a hard time getting above When we get above it, it's going to serve as support which is going to be like the floor which is going to be a level that we have a hard time going below. So now we have this as support. Um, you can see we're kind of further away. And now we're going to look and see if we can see any other trend lines or any er other areas of support. So right here, now I'm going to draw support about right here. And how I'm looking at this is this is an area where we get a lot of touches. We get a touch over here. Uh, we, of course, kind of like touch, touch right over here as well. Um, it becomes resistance over here. Once again, we come above, touch it again, come up here, touch it again, come up here, touch it again. And so we have a lot over here and then we came back down, touch it again. So right here, whenever you see that, these are going to be your major levels. Now, looking and seeing that we have all these touches over here, I drew this as support right here. And you can see, like, even if you just went, like, at this point in time, and we haven't been here, you know, once we come here, oh, it's going to have a hard time getting below this. And just from what we can see right now, if I were to draw a level of resistance, I would draw the resistance right here. So over here, you can see kind of has some trouble getting above it over here. A little trouble three times over here. Another one over here. Another one over here. Another one here. Another one here. And maybe this time we'll finally get through and break through. But maybe we will get slapped back down and come back down here. All right, so this is the weekly chart. This is how I come and draw these trend lines. So you can see I have resistance, which is the level we have trouble getting above, support, which we have trouble getting above, and then right now I have 
this downward trend line. So the ones at an angle are kind of going to be trend lines, but trend lines are also serving as support and resistance too. All right, going on, dropping down to a lower time frame. I'm now going to drop down to the four hour. And this is where I like to be if I'm more swing trading over a few days or a week or two. So looking at this right here, I can see that there is a trend like right here. If I draw right here, looks like we're kind of respecting this trend line right here. So you can see looking at this right here, kind of get a touch here. Uh, we get a touch here. Uh, we get another touch here and it kind of just slides up here. And then we kind of come and we pretty much touch it again right here. Maybe if I move it up a little like that, you can see here this trend line is being respected. So now just looking at my strategy, I probably, I wouldn't have entered here because I need to see the trend. We got our second touch here and then we came back and kind of retested the trend line. So looking at it this is what i would see as my potential target just based off of these trend lines using these trend lines um, you want to ride from support to resistance from resistance to support all right like if it rejects here it might come down to resistance and and what we would be expecting if we broke below this trend line over here if it came over and did something kind of like this and then just kind of trade sideways what i'm looking for if this happens is for it to come down to this area because this area looks like it could be this area looks like it could be a level of and if it continues to go through I am looking for it to come test this area down to maybe this area because this like this support area is kind of like a range whenever you get on the lower time frames on the higher time frames it's hard to draw an exact line it's more of like an area so that's going to be how you draw trend lines if you haven't already taken advantage of it be sure to sign up for Moomoo Moo using my referral link down below in the description and get up to 20 free stocks when you open an account and make a deposit. This offer is going away at the end of the month, so be sure to hop on that while you can. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. For some reason you made this far and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.